Hello and welcome to the Max Fortune Show. I'm your host, Max Fortune, and I specialize in helping people achieve their dreams and goals, help them build their business through innovative marketing techniques, as well as coaching people who want to write books. Uh, today on my show, I have my co-host, Joe Farina. He's How you been with me a couple of times. Um, and we also have, um, actually, uh, let me go with it, Joe. Joe uh, is an entrepreneur who has owned multiple businesses, both online and offline. Uh, including retail stores in the sports supplemental industry. He's become a personal development specialist who's had his work published both book and in magazine form. And we also have my good friend Mike. Mike Hello. Wiener here today. Hello. And um, a little bit about Mike. Mike has helped thousands of people, uh, thousands of business owners rather, uh, selling... Okay, let's start this again. <laughs> this is my good friend Mike Wiener here. So. Uh, Mike Wiener has helped thousands of business owners and selling professionals grow their business through NRG, uh, which I'm going to have to talk about that in a minute. And he's committed years of his expertise to help others succeed in his networking organization, a company which he started back in 2001, and won a small business uh, SBA award in 2006 for, um, for NRG for Home-Based Business Champion of the Year. Mike has always been a family-oriented and enjoys uh, his time with his two sons, Brandon and Lance, uh, his mother Thelma, his girlfriend Trish, uh, and enjoys sports, whether watching a professional game or watching his sons play, his favorite teams are the Orioles. Orioles. And the Ravens. Absolutely. All right. And Mike studied <laughs> business at uh, business administration at Towson State University, local university. He graduated a BS degree in 1986. And Mike truly believes the glass is always half full and wrote his book to empower business owners and selling professionals for success. Uh, life is full of choices, but Mike believes you choose to be happy and successful. Mike, welcome to the Max Fortune Show. Thank you, Max. Thanks for having me today. Well, I'm excited to have you on the show today. I really am. I'm excited to be with both of you guys today, Joe Farina and Max Fortune. This is good. So before we go any further, I just want to let everybody know you're going to want to call in today. The phone number for that is going to be 301-429-9247. Ask this guy any question. He's phenomenal. I think you're going to learn a lot today. And for the best caller... We have, as always, our three exciting days, two fun-filled nights, vacation voucher for the best caller who calls in. So get those phones one more ringing. time. It's going to be 301-429-9247. Welcome, Mike. Thank you, Jeff. You got thank it, you, Max. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Definitely a pleasure having you on the show. And uh, for those of you who may or may not be familiar with myself, I'm an author, motivational speaker, entrepreneur, life coach, a publisher, and a book coach and also the President and CEO of Fortune Publishing Group. And the show that we do here every week is fashioned around the three books that I've written. Um, this show also is recorded live, so the radio shows uh, has calls from coming in from viewers and listeners, and we welcome viewers to comment, as uh, Joe had already went into, as far as uh, going. So questions can be, or comments can be done by going to facebook.com forward slash askmaxfortune and we can get your comments there. Uh, but you can also join the conversation, as Joe said, by calling 301-429-9247. You can also tune in to WBGR online or download the free WBGR app on your mobile device. So lots of ways to get in touch today. Yeah. Uh, so let's get right to the topic. The topic. <laughs> the topic? Not the topic. The, the, the tilapia? No, we're gonna, we're gonna order tilapia? No, we're going to order tilapia? We're going to get right to the topic. So today, we're focusing on um, I, I want to talk to people about uh, book coaching and, and coaching uh, uh, for a book or helping you get a book done. And uh, one of the things I do as a book coach, I, I have a program that helps you learn simple techniques uh, that can implement, be implemented simply uh, to help you write and publish your book quickly and affordably. I also created a couple of uh, free webinars, books, classes, and a book coaching program that illustrates how to plan, write, publish, pay for, and market your book. And you can find a lot of that information at askmaxfortune.com. You can go to the book coaching section and you can uh, find out information. We also have a free webinar out there. And that webinar, you can find it by going to bookcoaching.askmaxfortune.com forward slash join, get registered there. Um, again, we'd love to talk to you or help you um, even have some um, questions. Uh, you know, one of the things I'm a very uh, blessed and esteemed to have is uh, Joe, okay. Well, you know what? I'll get to that later. We have a call in line, so let's take a call. Caller, are you there? Okay. Caller, are you there? Hello? Hello? Hello, caller. Yes. Who are we speaking with? Mariah Park. 
Mariah Park, how are you? Hello, Mariah. I'm good, how are you? Hey, Wonderful. Mariah. Wonderful. Hi. So do you have a question for one of us about book coaching or publishing a book or something along those lines? Well, actually, I have a comment on, on your guest, Mike Weiner, and his book, The NRG Advantage. Wonderful. Let's hear it. Well, um, I didn't know much about networking before I read the book, and it actually was an amazing book. Um, on page 13, there, there's an acronym that he shows. It's called TEAM, which stands for Together Everyone Achieves More, which kind of crystallized for me the concept of networking, about bringing together people who have um, similar goals and developing genuine respect for helping others. And that, that crystallized for me the concept of networking and got me really excited about working together with Mike. And, and then he goes on on page 34 to talk about his pinball um, uh, concept, which is power partners, industries, and named accounts, which is working with people that that are your, your big power partners, the industries that you sold to, and the named accounts, the ones that you're looking to sell to, and exchanging warm referrals. And I got so excited that I immediately decided that I wanted to work with Mike. And um, since I've, I've been with the organization, I have been just booming in terms of my career growth. And I'm really excited, and I'm so glad that you decided to publish him. Well, thank you so much, and, and you know what? I, I'm, thank you for the call. Thanks for calling in. Thank you, Mariah. That was yeah, awesome. That Appreciate was awesome. you calling in. Mariah, the check is in the mail. That yeah, was <laughs> great. Yeah. Joe, I think she wins that uh, trip right there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was You're awesome. welcome. You guys have a great one. You too. All right. Thanks. So, so you know what? Here, here's what. This is actually a great segue to have um, talk a little bit about NRG before we get into the book. Sure. Let's talk about NRG and, and what NRG is. And um, actually, we met. I met you through NRG. Yep. Uh, so let's let's talk. Get, get you talk about NRG, um, what it is, and how it helps people, helps business owners. You know what? I have been in the copier industry, and for those of you listening in or watching this in the future or listening at some point, how many of you are a lone ranger? You're out there. You're trying to do everything by yourself. And you know what? By teaming up with other people, you can accomplish a lot more. Just what Mariah talked about. So I created NRG, uh, Max and Joe, back in 2001 and started, I was doing copiers at that point, and found a security rep, um, and we started teaming up, and then we started to invite some other people out. I turned it into a business, and here we are 17 and a half years later, literally almost to the date as we get ready to hit the second half of the year, and I've been building business-to-business -business networking groups. Uh, we're currently in Maryland, we're in uh, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Northern Virginia, but the key of NRG is leveraging each other, helping each other, and Zig Ziglar said it best. You can get everything in life you want if you help enough other people get what they want. And I think that's one of the things lacking in society today. And that's a, just a little personal thing, but you know, when we work together as a team, we can accomplish a heck of a lot more. You know, I, I definitely agree with you there. And NRG has helped so many people. And you know, uh, before I kind of give my thoughts on NRG, why don't you share your thoughts, Joe, about NRG? Well, all three of us here are a byproduct of NRG. That's true. It, it really is. And I think that just is a testimony right there that this kind of me being on the show, I met you, Mike, and, and joined NRG and very quickly met Max. And then so goes the story. How did you, how, I think it would be good for the viewers. I, I didn't mean to do the interviewing here, Joe, but how did you meet me? Who was the one who talked to you about me? I uh, a wonderful friend, Valerie. Valerie up in New Jersey. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And so you and I played phone tag for a minute, but you are a professional networker. Thank and you. So you, you did it the right way, and we built a very quick friendship and a 30-minute conversation on the phone. Absolutely. And I came out to the meeting, and I saw what NRG was doing, and I saw your passion for it. I saw your professionalism, and uh, I signed up right that day. You did. Remember that? You yeah. did. I remember. Yeah. You, were, you know, I talk about in my book, being decisive. I, I have found people that are decisive with making the decision to come aboard with the networking group. They're usually decisive in other things, and when they waffle with this, uh, just I, it just seems like it's one of those traits of once you waffle, you always waffle. And when you're decisive about things, you're decisive. It just seems to be kind of a common thread. So I appreciate you coming out, Joe, and, and you know coming aboard. And we have developed you know, the best is yet to come, as they say. That's right. You know. So the um, the other thing about NRG is um, again I met you through NRG. Um, 
reached out to me. So I wanted to tell people about how, how that connection kind of happened. It, it's interesting with Max, because this is the best LinkedIn story I have. Back in uh, October of 2016, I was somewhere around 4,000 people on LinkedIn, and I made a commitment right then I was going to really grow it. So I reached out to Max through LinkedIn. He came to the NRG meeting, Columbia One, to, uh, Wednesday mornings. 15 minutes into the meeting, he leans over to me and says, I don't think he said dude, but dude, this is the best thing I've ever seen. And we, you know, we talked afterwards, he immediately became a member. We scheduled a lunch meeting at Olive Garden in Columbia nine days later. And we had about a two hour meeting. I think they were gonna hire us in the kitchen to go work with them, but we had a two hour meeting. And you know, it's just amazing through LinkedIn, you know, NRG, Max, I forged that friendship, and uh, we had a two-hour meeting at, at Olive Garden. Decided to move forward. I didn't say dude. I know you didn't say dude. <laughs> I was just being. I think hanging out with this guy from New Jersey, Joe, is hey. doing things to my brain a little bit. Right. I'm getting Jerseyatized or right. something, hey. you know. Yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, but but again, it was great. It was definitely great meeting. And, and the interesting thing is, the week before Mike and I met. Uh, he, you had attended a book coaching seminar, a seminar I, I had somebody who wanted to uh, talk about booking, and thank God you didn't go with those guys, you know? Thank God, right? Uh, <laughs> so him and I met, we um, had that lunch that he talked about, and I told him about, hey, let's do a 90-day book challenge. And I challenged him to get this book done in 90 days. I provided him with some really valuable information, my proprietary template that I use to help people in coaching. And how did, how did that work out for you? How did, how did that work? You know what, that 90 day, I remember you asking me about that, and I think you remember, I never hesitate. I'm like, let's do it. Because the timing was right. I knew the holidays were coming up. My schedule is intense. I run from meeting to meeting to meeting, usually in nine or 10 meetings a week. I keep Mondays open as a, as a Saturday day or phone day, but I took you up on the challenge. You gave me the documentation and, and outline of what I needed to do. Um, and I think for those of you listening, if you've thought about doing a book, if you've even considered it, get a hold of Max. Max is the real deal. Um, and I'm glad I didn't go with the other organization because um, Max, I've developed a friendship, a business relationship. And I, like I said to Joe, I know with Max, the best is yet to come. We're just getting started. But I made the commitment. It wasn't easy. We got it done. I think, you know, there's two people I, I want to thank, Max and also uh, my significant other, Trish, because Trish was a big factor in keeping me motivated behind the scenes. So um, they always say behind a successful man is a successful woman, and uh, Trish Kirby is that for me, and Max was just absolutely amazing. I think his book coaching and mentoring were just as important as getting the book published, because without those um, skills... And Max was very calm. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty intense, double A personality on a quiet day. You know, yes. keep the candy away from me. And you know, Max and I just hit it off. And I, there was something about him. I trust him out of the gate. And we, we went through all my questions, concerns, and he addressed them in a calm, professional way that I was like, this makes sense. Let's move forward. And you know what the, um, and for all of you out there who are thinking about writing a book and putting together a book, and you know, so many people out there like I was, uh, carrying around my idea for a book, and, um, and so many people do have their, their concept or idea, you kind of had the idea of what you wanted to do, and this, the coaching part kind of just helps you organize your thoughts and ideas, help you kind of not have moments of writer's block, which is what really um, thwarts a lot of people from being able to move forward. And so that's one of a lot of things we work through. But the wonderful testament to Mike Lake said for to um, to issue somebody a 90 day book challenge <laughs> and they take up on it, especially a guy as busy as this, uh, for you to take that seriously and uh, and and it was tough. Right? We had lots of calls, Tons lots of conversations calls. through that yep. period of time, and uh, it, this was not easy. But he committed to it, and uh, you know a lot of people are waiting for the right time, Joe. Right? A lot of people yeah. waiting for the right time to get a book published. And you know what? There is no right time. The time is just now. And um, what I will do is I'm going to do a, a quick drop for uh, if you are out there and you do want to, we're going to talk more about NRG in a second, and uh, I'll get more into this book, book coaching because I want you to explain to people what NRG, we're using the term sure. NRG, but I'm going to have you explain what, sure. that, what that is or what that means or what it stands for. Um, but again, if you're out there and you have thought about writing a book, you have a book, an idea for a book, I'm actually going to give you our, our toll-free phone number to call. You can call us, uh, 844, don't call us right now because... <laughs> No one's going to answer right now, but you can call 844-417-4177. Again, it's 844-417-4177. Or you can go to asmaxfortune.com. You can leave a message. Um, and so what I want to do is get back to 
um, to NRG. So sure. explain to people what NRG means, not only the acronym, but really what it, how it helps businesses as well. So NRG it stands for Network Referral Group, and it's basically a team of people coming together to help grow their business through referrals. So instead of, you know, you're out there selling copiers, we team up with a furniture person, a banker, a mover, and we, we're actually, we're not a leads group, because those are, that's kind of the old fashioned antiquated leads groups, or otherwise known as grandfather's leads groups, and I talk about those in the book. We're a networking group, but we're even more, we're, my new term is full service networking organization, because we collaborate, and that's really important. People are coming together, and they're like, I want to get into ABC Company in Columbia, Maryland. Well, have you tried to get in there? I've tried six times, I'm not getting anywhere. And then another member goes, well, I know someone there, or I'm connected on LinkedIn or Facebook, or my, you know, my ex-wife's plumber's cousin husband works there, or whatever it is. And we make those connections, and we work it until we figure out how to get people into those accounts. Where do you, where do you find that today? I mean, networking, it's not taught in colleges yet. Um, it's, there, there's so many different angles, and that's one of the things I'm really proud about, is the organization truly is dedicated and folks have to work it. You can't just show up once in a while. You know, mm-hmm. Cal Ripken didn't show up once a week to play baseball for the Orioles. Mm-hmm. You got to be there consistently, week in and week out. And the ones that are true to themselves, the, the other folks in the group pick that up. So NRG really, it's it's a collaboration, Max, of people coming together, helping grow their business, whether they're selling professionals, marketing people, business owners, working a daytime job, that, and they have a nighttime uh, gig, and we have Twilight groups to now accommodate that. So. Yeah, we're kind of that one-stop shop for everybody. So here, here's what I, I want to say about um, NRG and the, when I first came to NRG, and I'll say two things really quickly now. Um, when I, in those same 90 days that you were working on the book, I was attending NRG meetings, and um, I came away with some over 100 leads. Wow, and, that's amazing. Uh, through that same time period. So what, what Mike is saying about the, um, the company where what NRG does is, is network and it's like really having an extended sales force. Uh, again, you mentioned the, being the Lone Ranger or, or getting leads for a lot of you out there who might have a small business or a business that you're trying to grow. Networking is the best way to grow any kind of business and that's kind of where NRG comes in. It helps people to actually gain access to more people than they currently have and leverage the networks of everyone else in the group. Uh, so again, through that was very fruitful for me. I met a lot of people through there. I met Joe Farina through there, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so you just never know. So I, I, I definitely encourage network. I definitely encourage going to NRG. It was fantastic. But NRG has a secret weapon, and that secret weapon is the pinball. And that's what I actually whispered over to you. And I said, you know what, this is one of the greatest things I've seen as far as this pinball worksheet that we do. And I think uh, Mariah kind of talked about the pinball, mm-hmm. so I, you know, I, I kind of want you to get into that a little bit, and then we're going to get into your book, but sure. uh, explain to people the, the kind of like the secret sauce that NRG has by way of the pinball. So I'm going to tell a quick story. I was shaving one day, I just started NRG back in 01, and I'm like, I need to come up with a term for this because leads were bouncing off of each other like a pinball machine. So I'm like, okay, pinball, and then I came up with it, power partners, industry named account. So Power partners, these are other folks in other industries that call on the same person at a company. So traditional power partners, like for a financial advisor, CPAs, estate planning attorneys, for a copier rep, commercial realtors, commercial bankers, commercial movers. So it's really important to know who your power partners are. We actually have a pinball worksheet that you saw on Max day one, and we work with people. Industries you've sold to, the best way I can describe this is Family Feud. If you're on Family Feud, they go top three answers are, you want to be very clear in what you're looking for. Coming in saying, I can do business with anybody, you know what that does? That just makes me think about the ball game from the night before, whether the O's won or lost or whatever. It does absolutely nothing um, because there's no SIC code for anybody. So what you want to do is you want to identify industries you're very successful with and then also industries um, that you want to develop that you haven't done business with or very little business and then named accounts. These are specific companies you want to go after. And I see people all the time, they come to the meeting with no named accounts. Big mistake. Leaving tons of money on the table. Even if no one in the group knows someone at that specific company, it's going to get people thinking, well, I don't know anyone at that mortgage company, but have you thought about this mortgage company? So we have a tracking system. You can track your referrals. We have a script. So when you come out to the meeting, it's all very cookie cutter. It's very easy. It's very relaxed. And the system works. 
So, um, yeah, I, I, I would say that, and I think you probably can agree with that. Uh, energy is definitely, if you're growing your business, looking to grow your business, definitely um, an organization you want to join. Yes, part of. yes. I, I just want to say this when it comes to that pinball and being able to be specific when you go to an event like that, it creates clarity for everybody to be able to really understand what you're looking for. And it's kind of like being online with search engine optimization. You, you, you've got to have your target there and it allows me to go into my brain, you to go in your brain and your network and go, oh yeah, yeah, I know that. I know somebody in that industry or I, it allows that contribution to take place. Clarity is such a great word, Joe, because people come to the meetings and they're, they're not focused and they're not clear with their message and what they're trying to do because let's face it, we're in a world where there's communication everywhere, people are being pulled in a million directions. It's almost, it gives them a marketing initiative. Who are they going after? What are they working on? And sales managers that haven't been to NRG, I think they're missing the boat, Max, because they could be training all their folks. They could be pinballing, you know, pinballing them and getting them to come in with better clarity. And I, I think that's a big challenge today. People are in a million directions. And NRG, for one hour, you're, you're with your board of directors getting clear about your goals and your missions and you know what you want to accomplish so I appreciate that yeah. word that's a great I, word I, Joe well it's a good word yeah it is a good you, word you can use it okay thank I, you. I do want to say this too Mike you've done a fantastic job of, of really creating an environment of opportunity for people I appreciate that and, very much and, and that's so important in today's day and age to really be in an environment where you can actually build relationships well, I, build I those appreciate partnerships that. one of my big concerns is you know social media is phenomenal without social media Max lived seven minutes from where I live. I could have almost walked to his house, but we wouldn't have met. And a lot of people are just behind the scenes on a computer. That's not always where it's going to happen. You need eyeball to eyeball, inflection. Do people care? Those are things that are intangibles. When you're on LinkedIn and I'm reaching out to John, Joe Smith, I don't know much about him. We're trying to get to know each other, but you know the, the variables of being there, eye contact and inflection, you, you know, people don't really care how much you know until they know how much you care. And that's, that's a really big aspect of having face-to-face -face networking. I agree with you. You know what, um, we could sit here literally, the three of us probably all day, and talk about how wonderful NRG is. But I want to uh, segue into talking about what made you want to write a book telling about NRG. So let's talk about it. This is the, the book out here. It's called The NRG Advantage. Um, before we um, get into it, actually, uh, well, actually talk about let's talk about it, and then we'll tell people where they can get sure. it. So. All right, so the book, The NRG Advantage, uh, the first seven chapters are really about networking. Chapter eight is creating momentum, which is one of my favorite things because... So, Mike, I'm sorry, oh, before you get into tell people why you wrote the book. Oh, why I wrote what the book. book? What was the purpose okay. of writing this book? All right, yeah. so the reason I wrote the book, Max talks about writer's block. We haven't talked about the opposite of that. It's called writer's tsunami because there was no doubt in my mind I could get the book written in 90 days. The question was, did I have... Could I get it all in an organized manner? So I wrote the book because there's different management styles out there. There's micromanagement and there's empowering people. I think it was theory X and Y way back when I went to Towson, back in the good old days in the 80s. But I wrote the book to empower people because people need help with networking. I've had people with me for years and they're not working the pinball. So really it's to empower, it's to educate, it's to inspire, it's to motivate. Um, everyone's got an excuse on, you know, something. And I have a saying, you can make money or you can make excuses, but you can't make both. So the book was really to put a blueprint together on how to, how to network Max and how even to be a networking superstar in your group. You know what, before we continue on, I want to ask you so many more questions. I have so many more questions about NRD, the book. Um, but Joe, give everybody the number they can call in. Sure. Um, we definitely would love to also have you call in. And uh, if you're interested in talking to either, any one of us, if you have any questions about networking, growing your business, or about coaching on uh, putting a book together, we'd love to hear from you. We also could see any of your comments uh, right here. We'll answer any comments, though. So maybe if you don't have a chance to call, maybe you're working. You really can't call right now, but you can comment on the line. Um, you can go to facebook.com forward slash Asmax Fortune. The comments will pop up right here, and we'll be able to answer those comments right away. Uh, but uh, going back into... Um, so the next let me, thing let me give the number. Okay, I'm the sorry. Call in number. Okay. 301. What's that number, John? That's 301 429 9247. And the best caller of the day, one of you will get a three day, two night, fantastic vacation voucher from the Max Fortune Show. 
Again, that's 301-429-9247. Call in, ask Mike, Max, or myself any question you would like pertaining to networking or business or writing a book. This is my placeholder. I see that. I was wondering where it went. I'm like, he took the vacation away. No vacation. <laughs> The vacation is still up there. Right? All right. Uh, so the, the, the thing that I want you to do is um, talk about what this book has done for your business or how, has, has it helped grow your business? And has it, um, And I, I talk to people all the time about the importance of writing a book and how much credibility and credence it gives to your industry, what you do and how you do it. So speak to that, Mike. About yeah, you, you kind of hit my word, Max. I think what it really does is it puts a stamp of approval on it. It's credibility because... I've had some people in other states and I've been talking with them and I'm like, okay, here's the website. By the way, I wrote a book in 90 days and, and people usually stop. You wrote a book in 90 days? Even you wrote a book. So it lets them know that you know any, any profession that you're in, you're writing a book, you're gonna be an expert in that field. Um, so it's definitely helped. I think it's helped people even in their decision. It's like, do I wanna join NRG? Have I seen enough? So from a lot of different angles, it's given NRG and, and Michael Weiner more credibility and um, just more information behind the scenes. So it lets them know we're a strong organization growing and I think the book has helped tremendously in a lot of different ways. You know, one, one of the things and why I wanted you to speak to that is one of the things that I specialize as a coach, I, I was primarily with entrepreneurs like yourself, is uh, helping people create a business around their book mm -hmm. and show them how to use that book as a brochure to grow that business. So that's one of the things that I really uh, and truly specialize in. Uh, in helping people, and that was the appeal for working with you on this project. Uh, and again, you just have such a, such a tremendous network and a, a tremendous organization on top of that. So um, has your life changed at all with uh, being a published author? Now that you publish, your book is out there. Uh, <laughs> you get girls coming up to you. And, no, I'm kidding. You know what? Um, I think one of the things that writing the book has, has helped me decide is that I want to write a second book and a third book and I've already started on my second book it's made me realize as much as I put in that first book there's a lot more <clears throat> I've got a lot of information in this brain um, a lot of a lot of information I want to impart and quite frankly I think it's selfish just to keep it in my brain I want to get it out there to the world uh, networking is changing as we speak there's so many different things so you know what Max in some ways it's motivated me to even go dig deeper um, and you and I are working on some projects we're not going to discuss yet to the public, but uh, I think we're going to be able to, to reach people <clears throat> across the U.S. and around the world with, with, uh, with the networking and educate people because it's, it's just such a topic that everyone thinks they know what networking is, and they, a lot of times they don't. And we try to have what I call almost ROI networking where you are going to get a, a return on investment if you plug in and do the things that you need to do. So. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's helped society and people, but it's also, from my standpoint, it's helped me to stay even more focused and dig in there deeper, for, if that makes sense. So let me just ask you another question about, sure. um, and this is also, this point of NRG, and we're going to bounce back between the book and, and the business. Um, the industries that you're looking to uh, add to the group, to NRG, uh, speak to that. What, what kind of, um, or I guess a better question would be, what kind of businesses benefit from being involved with NRG or from networking or growing their business? You know, a lot of businesses do extremely well, but some of those industries that are not involved in too many of my groups right now, we have 15 groups here in Maryland, actually 16. We just launched a second uh, Twilight group in Columbia. IT, and you, you'd be shocked, Max, but we do not have a lot of IT companies right now. Uh, commercial bankers, in the, in the old days we had bankers in a lot of the groups. Uh, commercial realtors. Um, solar seems to be doing very well. And you know another one that's just blowing my mind, credit restoration, credit repair. I had a lady come out yesterday to Columbia. I went up to her, asked my normal three questions, and they're in the book, so I read the book to figure out what my questions are. And she's like, how do I join? And you know, those are some of the industries, um, you know, business to business, but you're always gonna have mortgage and real estate and title. We don't have that many title companies right now, home inspectors, pest control. Um, and there's always new things coming out, but those are some of the key ones. If I had to say one or two right now, I would say IT and um, credit card processing and payroll. Those are a couple of industries that they're just not in a lot of the groups for whatever reason. I think some of it is folks have been in traditional leads groups.
that have not worked, people need to change the paradigm. We're not a leads group. We're not even a networking organization. We're a full service networking organization. And I think those, you know, when you come to the meeting, you'll see what Joe saw and you'll see what Max saw. So, you know, my, my challenge to everybody is take the, the two week challenge, come out to NRG. I took the 90 day challenge, take the two week challenge, come out to the meeting, check it out and see for yourself because the proof is always in the pudding. That would be, uh, I think, chapter one of the book is yeah. about showing up. Yeah. Showing and up. How important that is, how vital that is to just show up, to you, be out there. You, you gave me a really good segue. Um, Willie Jolly, who's a good friend of mine, he wrote an amazing book. He's written a lot of books, but Willie did the forward for my book, and I was absolutely honored and tickled pink that when I asked him if he would do it, he said yes. And when he sent over the, the transcript to uh, to my girlfriend Trish Kirby and I, Trish read it to me one night and I almost, I almost teared up. Um, it was that heartfelt and Willie talks about half of it is just showing up. I mean people just don't show up and you know what, if you're not accountable to a group and you're not accountable to yourself, who are you going to be accountable to? You need to be accountable when no one is watching you except the man upstairs. And I think that's a big issue again without me going off on a soapbox, Max and Joe, People, you know, if, you, if you're accountable to yourself and you're true to yourself, you're going to transfer that out to other people. But it's it's a big point, Joe, and thank you for bringing that and up. People want to do business with people that they can depend on, that are credible, that are present, that are there. And how you do anything is how you do everything. I, 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 once say that, I love that. that shows up. I, I think that was so, Joe Farina at my boot camp no, a few I, weeks ago. I can't ago. take credit for that, but you know, I, I, use it and I think it's in Chapter 1. How can you refer someone if they're not showing up to your... Board of Directors NRG meeting. You, how can you refer someone in confidence? You can't. So that's a big point. Yeah, great point. So the um, just again going back and forth between uh, between NRG, which is a great organization, and then just um, publishing a book and, and the importance of having a book for your your business and choosing the right way to get it going and get it out there and uh, just crystallizing some of your information. So I'm just gonna kind of segue back into um, the, one of the important things if you do have uh, a business out there is it's important to be able to differentiate yourself from your competition. A lot of times people are showing up uh, with a book, maybe, maybe with a brochure, or maybe a regular trifold brochure or a business card. And so what we teach people at, at Fortune Publishing and as a book coach, I show people how to use their book as a brochure and how that just shows up differently. I think even probably when you're talking to people now about NRG, and joining it, and you're showing them the book, and that you have a book that you're serious for. What it says that you're serious about your craft, um, that you took time to write a book around it, and it, I, I would imagine that it makes most people feel more comforting in joining with someone that they feel is an expert in their field because you actually wrote a book about it. No, Max, I would definitely agree with that. I think one of the challenges that because there's so many different types of companies out there, everyone's been burned somewhere. Everyone's had a bad situation, so people in general are skeptical and when you can show them hey here's my book this is 17 and a half years crystallized by the way my publisher is Max Fortune Max has published other books yeah the credibility Max it goes through the roof and it, it definitely helps I mean you notice I when I come to the meetings I have the books with me I carry them with me and when members join I'm usually like hey would you like a copy of the book and they're they usually smile at me and they go of course I want the book so absolutely Absolutely. I'd like to add something to that, that I really appreciate that you took the time to, to write this book, and that every author out there really is, the, the idea of contributing value, like really contributing value. And I know you put your heart and soul into that book, and, and I was reading through it, and you, 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 you see the experience and the, the wisdom that you're imparting in the book about networking. You put your heart into it, and that says a lot about somebody who's willing to take those 90 days willing to put the time in, it says that if you're willing to put that much work into creating that much value, what's it going to be like when a person actually does business with you personally? And that says a lot. Max, I think I need a Kleenex. That was great <laughs> stuff, right? Joe. Thank you. No, that's, that's, I, I appreciate that well, very much. Your mark is I've been burned so many times and as, a, as a customer out there, as a networker out there. I've joined different groups. I've seen people try to sell me different things that they tell me that I need. But you know what? What I've found is value. It's all about bringing value to people and, and leaving them better than you found them. And you writing that book is leaving people better than you found them. 
and that's that's awesome. Well, I, I, pre I appreciate the, it. Thank I you. High five to you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the other uh, advantages that it tends to do is also, as you said, you bring your books to your your um, to the meetings now. Mm -hmm. uh, so that also creates an additional revenue stream. Um, so if you have a business out there and you're even looking to add an additional revenue stream, book sales does that. Uh, not only that, but book sales leads to um, speaking engagements and even paid speaking engagements because you're, you know, paid authors, it's a well-known fact that people who have authored a book uh, get paid generally more than someone who doesn't have a book. You know, real quick, Max, I'd like to thank um, Dave Morningstar, Matt Hortz, and Anna, um, and Marcy because those are our three sponsors in the book. And, you know, that was a big part of, I remember when we first started the book, we were like, you know, we went around and we talked to different people and um, these folks that are the sponsors, their, their ad is in the back of the book. And Max hit it, you know, if you've got a sales organization, get this book out to them. Contact Max, contact me. And, you know, we, we're talking with a couple of companies that are looking at hundreds of books. But it's a great first start. We call it, you know, networking 2.0 is kind of part of it there as well. But if you're looking to really network and grow, it's such a great way of maybe your folks can't get to the NRG meetings. This was a way that I could also reach out, create, as Joe called, extra value, and they could read it from the leisure of their home or the swimming pool or whatever. So, so listen, I, I, I work closely with you and these sponsors, so I, yeah, I'm going to say, hey, listen, give each one of them a quick 30-second plug really quickly, just for 30 seconds. If you could just, because again, you just mentioned some names yep. where people don't yep. know what their business is about, what they do. And before you do that, I, I just want to mm -hmm. also uh, thank those businesses myself because, again, they help support this book, put this book together, help you get this book out there. And it's one of the things that we kind of show people how to do is to get sponsors to help them get their books done. And, uh, again, a lot of times the sponsors are, uh, they'll pay the lion's share of getting their book done. So we have a, a lot of ways to do that. But let's go ahead and plug So we, we've got Marcy and Anna who have a company uh, where they do funding for folks. I mean, there, there's like, I think, 30 or 40 different things that they can do. But a lot of times where... Um, a company goes to a bank and they get turned down. Um, these guys are amazing. They're involved in my Hunt Valley NRG group, um, and they were they were one of the three sponsors in there. So I wanted to thank them personally. Um, we've got Dave Morningstar with Employers Assurance Solutions. Dave and I go way back. We've known each other 15 some years. World class guy, unbelievable. Max and Dave and I had lunch at Timbuktu's uh, in Elkridge. We, we should get some credit for that one too. Plugging that. Um, and Dave and I go way back. He's built a huge, successful organization in the supplemental insurance industry. And um, Dave was one of the first ones that I actually called and reached out to because he knows my background and so forth. And the last one is an amazing story. Matthew Hortz um, with Allstate Insurance. Matthew came to a Hunt Valley NRG group. I was not there. There was two people there. He called me up, and I didn't think he was going to join because of the size of the group. Not only did he join right away because he said, look, I, I, I realize this is just starting and growing. Matt had vision, and that's a lot of pe things that sometimes people don't have. There's an old thing, I won't get biblical, but was that man without vision shall perish? And you know what? Matt had vision, and, and a year later, his organization's involved in four groups, a book sponsor, and he's helped me spearhead uh, expansion in New York, PA. So uh, Matt does like property and casualty insurance, home, auto, and so forth. So. Yeah, those sponsors, I remember, Max, I sat down with each of them at length, and we said, here's what we're going to do. These guys committed to us time, resources, and there was no book. I remember I told Matt, I said, you know, when you committed, I was still in Chapter 2. That's called faith, and there's something to be learned because everywhere we go, those ads run with us with those books. So I appreciate Max helping me with some great meetings with those guys. And, you know, there's going to be other sponsorship opportunities ahead for the second book. And so further, I just, I just wanted to again just make sure yep. that you, you, you plug those people. And, and again, just for there's so many people that I run into, and, and uh, Joe, that you and I talk to every day that, that possibly have a challenge with funding their book or getting their book done. It's one of the things that um, that as a book coach, I show people how to fund that book if you're needing the finances to fund your book. Again, we have programs for that. So again, reach out, uh, talk to myself, <laughs> talk to Joe, and we'll be able to definitely help you. Uh, get your book done, whether you have all of the money or not, uh, there's lots of different ways to get a book published, and so we help you specialize in those. Um, I will say this, that the important thing is everything starts with a conversation. 
And I think that's the biggest thing is yep. start those conversations. If you're wanting to write a book, you're thinking about it, let's have a conversation and see where that leads. Sometimes that's the big first step. Right. Look, you know. My, yeah, my, my best move last year was sitting down with Max at Olive Garden, having a meal, and committing to Max, yeah, I want to do the 90-day book challenge. Yeah, that was the best decision I made last year. And if you're looking to do a book or even thinking about it, don't hesitate. I, I, I've, been, I've worked with hundreds of thousands of people across multiple states, all kinds of backgrounds for almost 18 years, and Max can help you get where you need to go. Don't, don't worry about the money. Don't worry about your expertise or lack thereof. Don't worry about what you think you know. Don't prejudge. Just get a hold of Max. And that check should be in the middle. That should be a really nice check, too. So, <laughs> can I ask you a question on that, Mike? Absolutely. When you had that meeting with Max, what were some of the things that you were looking to get answers on? You know what? Um, I guess, you know, how do we put the book together? How do we, you know, distribution? And there's still things Max and I are working on to increase distribution. It was just so nebulous. It's like, all right, so I write a book. And, you know, it... Um, we do, you know, I, I sell at the meetings, but then Max came up with, oh no, we also do a book signing, which you worked for us at the front desk, Joe, and I thank you very much for that. You were awesome. So, book signings, things like that, but there, I didn't really, I couldn't connect all the, you know, dot the I's, cross the T's. It was very nebulous. It's like, so how do I put this book together? What, you know, I had some of the topics, and I was able to get that outline together before I started writing it, and that was a key factor for me because as soon as I felt like I was going off stream, I, I was able to pull it back. I, it was really a networking tsunami. I don't know what other word to use. There was so much information coming at me as I wrote it, and I was, because of Max's tutelage, there's a good word, tutelage, um, I was able to kind of walk through it. So does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's important. awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Elvis in the house. <laughs> So um, yeah, the uh, so it, it's really good. I, I'm glad that we were able to get you on the show, and get you kind of sharing your experience with with putting the book together. I think there's so many people out there that uh, have either a story that they that they want to share with people, or again just have uh, business expertise that they need to put together uh, or that they can put together. And a lot of times it's just kind of uh, what Joe said was taking that first step. I see so many people just kind of waiting and waiting and waiting to, to get something done. And uh, that first step is just so important and so critical <coughs> to just take a step out there, make a call, have a discussion, have a conversation. Uh, I'm sure in one way, shape, or form, we can help you get your book published if you, uh, again, if that's something you're aspiring to do, we definitely, it's, it's what we do every day, all day, and we definitely would love to help you get yours done as well. And so, Joe, you want to say something? Yeah, I just, you know, I know since working with you and, and watching how Mike is taking this book and seeing the content that's in that and talking with a lot of people that are looking to publish a book, I think one of the big things that really does, I guess, break my heart a little bit is the not showing up for the conversation and just mm -hmm. sitting there with preconceived notions um, about what it takes to write a book or what it, what really needs to happen and then just never doing anything with it and so people stay stuck in that fear place or they a preconceived notion of how much it's going to cost or how much time it's going to take and all the things that go into it and they talk themselves out of it they talk themselves right out of it and they never show up just for the conversation just mm -hmm. to get the answers because nobody says you have to write a book right. nobody says you have to publish anything but the one thing i've learned and, I, and I, I can definitely thank you a lot for that, Mike, and learning a lot about networking is by showing up. It's, there's a lot to learn. There's a lot we don't know, and asking a few simple questions gets yep. you a few simple answers. It's an old thing. You don't know what you don't know. Max, I want to take two quick minutes we still have. Yep. Um, I want to um, thank my dad. I dedicated the book to my dad, and he was a very big role model in my life growing up. Um, passed away back in 99 and you know I wrote the book and then I'm sitting there and I'm like oh my gosh I want to dedicate the book to my dad so um, I wanted you know for you parents out there your kids are watching you go out and be great parents go make it happen lead by example because talk is cheap walk the walk do what you need to do I also want to thank Trish Kirby um, Trish and I have been dating for four years 
And we, you know, things, every relationship's got its bumps. Anyone who says it's perfect is lying to you. So run. But anyway, Trish actually, um, I wrote the book out, handwriting. And Trish is probably the only one that can read my handwriting max better than me. I'm telling you, this lady spent hours, countless hours going through my, there was times I was sitting with her, I'm like, Trish, what does this sentence say? And she, wrote, she typed the whole thing up, and she got it over to Max, and the team unity that Trish and Max and I have was off the charts, and that's when you know you're on the right team. So, um, you know, I know Trish will watch this at some point, and um, I want to give her kudos because she was an amazing, you know, an amazing girlfriend, an amazing, beautiful um, woman, and just full of character. And, you know, I know we, we've had our challenges just like every couple out there, but in the end all, as Max would say, at the end of the day, she's the woman that I want to be with. So um, thank you, Trish, for all of your support and love. And as you and I always say, you know, the best is yet to come. You know, I, I've had countless conversations with, uh, with Trish as well, to try, you know, while we were working on that book. And it's just real important to, to be able to incorporate and have a support system and yeah. uh, have people support you and, and what you're trying to do or when you're trying to put together a book. It, it's not... Um, it's not simple and easy but it's also not impossible uh, and everything boils down to really just having the right team in place having the right information in place and when you kind of have that it's kind of like uh, GPSing your way to uh, success, a, a route people use GPS all the time and so one of the important things is uh, being able to have someone who can give you direction and that direction is important so I wanted to speak to the people who out there who, who, who may not be sure that coaching is the right way to go if you have a book idea, I mean, sometimes it's, it's the best way. And so I, I think about when I did my first book, I, again, I didn't have a coach my first book. I didn't really know, honestly, that there was something that existed as a book coach. And there may be a lot of you out there that don't, don't realize that that's, um, that's actually a thing. <laughs> you know, there's a book coach out there. Yeah, there's an SIC code for book coach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. But, yeah, me neither. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but, um, but, uh, uh, but, but, um, but, Again, I, I went through so many different challenges putting my first book out there, uh, finding uh, someone to edit the book and finding someone to uh, design the front cover and all the different things that it takes to put a book together. And that's one of the things that we do very, very well, if I must say so myself, is just kind of bringing all that under one roof, making it very easy. You're not dealing with 10, 15 different people, 10 to 15 different organizations. You've got one place that kind of has your vision and we kind of had your vision and team, uh, or your vision, what you wanted to accomplish, and it just helps to streamline that whole process. You know what? I'm a self-motivator, but I remember somewhere around Chapter 7 or 8, I was questioning, am I going to get through this? And I remember calling Max, and I remember calling Trish. So don't think I just walked through this thing in 90 days and it was perfect. You know, you watch shows, and everyone's just, like, perfect. I had my moments. I had my challenges. But you know what? A winner is going to force through it. A winner is going to not force. A winner is going to fight through it and make it happen. And I was able to lean on the team. I was able to lean on Max. I was able to lean on Trish, and they both were so supportive. There's no price you can put on that because without Max, without Trish, it wouldn't have got done. So I wanted to, you know, personally thank Max. I thank Trish. I think I've got that covered pretty well. Um, but I want to thank Max. He's done an excellent job. He's a great guy. Um, and he's someone that, you know what, reach out to him. If you have questions, I'd be, I'm, I'm kind of an extension of what he does. I'll be happy to answer any question you have, day or night, evening, weekend. Hey, Mike, is it worth working with Max? You know, hey, I've got you live without Max. Is it worth And I'll, I'll tell you. I mean, it's been, a, it's been an amazing experience. And I know there's a lot more we're going to be doing with the book to get it out there. And the second book and the third book and so on. So, Max, I'm going to keep you busy for a few years, buddy. All right, I, I, I like that. I'd like to add something as far as the coaching there as well is is the time that it saves. I don't know if I ever told you my car story. Let me tell you that story. My car broke down. My car broke down now, but the other car I had it was broke down. So I figured I'd go outside and work on it myself. I got some parts. I went underneath there, and six hours later, I'm still underneath the car, <laughs> and I finally had a realization that I'm not a mechanic. I'm woefully unqualified, but I need results. So I called up who? A friend of mine who was a mechanic. And in 20 minutes, he not only fixed what was wrong with the car, he fixed what I damaged with the car. <laughs> in 20 minutes. <coughs> wow. six, over six hours of stubbornness. And all I needed was results. And it's okay to learn, but I learn best 
by learning from somebody who knows what they're doing. Yeah, that's right? Very well said. And that's well said. a coach right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Great point, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cutting myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know the, the thing, the, the cool part about it. See, this is networking. This is building relationships. We have a lot of fun, and you know, that's a credit to NRG because we all came together from that. You know, building relationships that really matter. Thank you very much, Joe. All right, <laughs> go ahead, Max. All right, well, take it away, right, Take this. Turn it up, yeah. back over to here's Max. Oh my gosh. Okay, two characters <laughs> here this week. Uh, so yes, yeah, so it, it's just, it, it is truly a pleasure, definitely having you on here for a couple of reasons, mainly because of uh, the accomplishments that you have with NRG, but also of the accomplishment with the book. And so I, I definitely commend you with that, uh, commend you for that. And um, again, uh, I just want to take this opportunity to talk to people. Because again, I, 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 we talk uh, weekly or every, every week. We kind of focus on a couple of different things, and this week is one of the weeks that we're focusing on. Um, uh, the importance of a book or how a book can really grow your business. I think some people may not feel like books are still relevant, uh, that they still matter. That, uh, there are a lot of things online, Kindle, a lot of uh, e-books and things like that, but, but it's something about holding a book in your hand, something about having a tangible product, something about being able to have that uh, grow your business or utilize uh, around your business or even just your personal story. You run into a lot of people who just want to um, even just carry on their legacy, you know? Uh, maybe you have, um, I know that we're working with another um, author who really has a series of family recipes that they want to just pass down. Again, you can put that together in a book and keep your, your family's legacy around it. It's, there's no, uh, we, we don't do any, just one genre. We really specialize in all different types of genres of books. So if you have a cookbook in mind, if you have even a personal story, a lot of people have a story. and. Uh, you know, I, what I run into a lot is a lot of people who think, that, well, no one really wants to hear my story. But you'd be surprised how many people can be touched by your story, uh, by your testimony. And uh, that's really what a story is. And a lot of the times it's, it's also therapeutic in the process of putting your story down and, and documenting and writing it. And so many people are just holding on to all these thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And uh, getting it out in the book just really, again, can be very, very therapeutic. Even if it doesn't make you a New York Times bestseller, I mean, it's not. That's not always the point. There's so much you can do, just sharing your experience with other people, and uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, uh, <laughs> uh, that's what that's what we're here for. We're here to share experiences with you other know, people. You know, Max, you just used the word. It was so therapeutic, putting everything in writing, and you know, when when you do that about your business, it's going to get you fired up more about what you do. So, you know, the other reason is you kind of rediscover yourself and, and you, you think about things that have worked, things that can work better, but it was absolutely 1,000% therapeutic. You took the words right out of my mouth. And, you know, that, that was another, uh, I'd say, serendipity of writing the book is I kind of rediscovered myself and what I need to do, what do I need to do better, and um, you really get in touch. If you're a business owner writing about your business in that specific, you know, arena, it's going to help you get even more focused. Max, I want to comment on something you just said there about leaving a legacy. And I was sitting here thinking to myself, I lost my pretty much all my grandparents before I was even before I was even born. My dad passed away when I was 15, and I think about it now. Like what I wouldn't give to be able to read a book that my grandfather wrote, or even something my dad produced. Now, here I am, like 38, going on 39. What would it be like to be able to read a book that he wrote years ago? maybe getting to know my grandfather, grandmother, because they took the time to put something in writing. And uh, yeah, I think about that when you, as soon as you said legacy, how important that would mean to me. I mean, that really was just big time yeah. stuff. I mean, it, it is, it actually, I mean, you just, I think people think that um, writing a book has to always result in uh, lots of sales, or, or again, it's really even more affordable than you might even think to get a book done and get it produced, but. And there's so much value to that, just being able to have uh, your uh, story or legacy, or just, like you're saying, um, all of that stuff is really important. And so I, I'm a big champion about uh, putting, putting books together, helping people get their thoughts and ideas together, helping to turn into a book. And one of the things that we um, really focus on, uh, which is some of the, pretty much five areas, um, even my, my latest book is How to Publish a Book and Make a Fortune, um, even though we all don't always focus, every book is not also going to make a fortune, but there's lots of different reasons to write a book. But 
uh, the formula we, we talk to people about is how to plan that book and how important it is to have a plan. I mean, you were speaking about the uh, one of the big things we talked about was giving you that proprietary template that we have that helped you plan out your book. Mm -hmm. And having a plan for your book is the easiest and fastest way to avoid uh, getting writer's block um, or having uh, stumbling blocks when it comes to planning it. And we focus on showing you how to write that book, how to get it published, um, how to pay for it, and then how to market the book. So those are really the five main categories that our coaching program kind of focuses on. And so, uh, again, we, we really enjoy helping people uh, get their book out because it's, it's nothing like holding your own book. I mean, what was it like holding this for the first time? You know what I mean? Uh, seeing this book and... I think the only word that comes to mind is surreal because it's like, wow. I wrote the book with Max's help, with Trish typing it up. Max sent it off. It got printed. Came back. I remember the day I came over to your place and he's like, okay, here's the boxes. Get ready to see your face over and over. No, he didn't say it like that, but... It, it, it's very surreal, and it's uh, it was worth every single minute of writing out the book. I mean, it was you know ninety days. You're gonna you got it's 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 a good amount of work, but anything worth it, worth it in life, it's gonna take work. If it's not worth it, it's not gonna take any work. Mike, can I ask you one quick question? As sure. We're winding down here before yep. Max ties it all up. What is your favorite chapter in the book, if you have one? I know you're gonna probably say you love all of them, but your one favorite you know what um, I would say chapter 8 momentum creating momentum because many of you are listening to the show and you're like God, I don't have any momentum with my business or how do I take it to another level and it doesn't matter where you were yesterday's a cancel check tomorrow's a promissory note all we have is today and creating momentum just makes it all go now chapter 10 is almost as equally my favorite consistency and persistence because without that I wouldn't have found Max. How many people did I reach out to on LinkedIn that respond? Most of them don't. Max Fortune was a fortune. He was a gold, you know, he was a diamond in the rough or a diamond that I found. But I would say chapter eight creating momentum, but whatever you do in life, you gotta do it consistently and persistency. So chapter eight uh, very closely followed by chapter ten. Thank you. You're welcome. So listen, we're going to uh, really quickly tell people where they can get the NRG Advantage. Okay. First place is coming to one of the NRG meetings here in Maryland. Um, we've got the books at the NRG meetings. The other place you can go is networkrefferralgroup.com backslash events. Um, and referral is one F2 hours. I know we're working on some other um, venues as well that will probably be coming out, correct? correct. Yep. Yep. So uh, for now, track me down. Come to a meeting. See what we do. You see the pinball. And uh, otherwise, go to networkreferralgroup.com backslash events. All right, fantastic. And don't forget to go to asmaxfortune.com or asmaxfortune on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, follow and like the pages. Uh, we're actually, um, we have a brand new YouTube channel. Uh, we've been really getting a lot of uh, subscribers since we've um, been putting it out there. We have over 216 subscribers now. Uh, to our YouTube channel, so we actually, that's where you can get, go to see replays of the Max Fortune Show, um, and so we're uh, looking out there, if you want to go, you can subscribe to, uh, actually you can just Google or go to YouTube and just search for the Max Fortune Show and then subscribe to the channel. Um, again, you can also get your copy of uh, any of uh, my personal books at asmaxfortune.com, purchase a copy, or um, you can also sign up for some of the free webinars that we have. Uh, or book coaching programs, and you can go to do all of that by going to asmaxfortune.com. Um, so again, if you like the content that we uh, are bringing every week, please go to asmaxfortune.com and just click on the picture for the radio show, and it'll take you right to uh, the YouTube channel as well. That's an easy way to navigate to it. Um, and I just want to, um, as we're wrapping up, just thank everybody for watching the Max Fortune Show one more week. I'd like to thank my co-host, Joe Farina. Once again, thank you very much. Thank I wish you. I had like a hand clap thing with all those things. Oh, um, we, we can get one. one. We, we can get, get one. one. You're like, new song, you can, I can make your hands clap. That could be your theme song. I'd rather right have the hand clap than, <laughs> than I usually get, which is like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and I'd also like to, uh, to thank my good friend Mike Wiener. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for being a my uh, pleasure. Thanks for having me. Fantastic guest. Being a great guest. And again, um, NRG, the NRG Advantage, uh, join one of the groups, call Mike up, go to networkreferralgroup.com and find out where the groups are. Um, call them up, you won't be uh, disappointed if you join one of the NRG groups. And Maria Park, 
Mariah, Park. Mariah, 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 sorry, Mariah, Mariah, I spelled it wrong. Yes, Mariah Park is our winner. All right. I apologize, okay. Mariah. And you know what, Mariah, what we need you to do is we need you to contact the producer of the show, um, and you can email her at um, themaxfortuneshow at gmail.com. You can pay, make the attention of Aisha. Aisha Wallace is our esteemed producer in the studio with us. He doesn't, never gets on camera, but one day we'll, we'll drag her on. Uh, but um, you can, um, again, please just make sure we have an email address and the phone number and um, name Mariah so that we can send you out this vacation voucher. Uh, so again, actually, also we need your address so we can mail it out to you. Um, do you have anything else? That's it. Great show. Mike, outstanding um, for you. Yeah. Okay, Mike wants to give you guys your Real quick, if you need to reach me uh, by cell or text, it's 443-756-9656. Joe's writing the number down like he doesn't have it. 443-756-9656. want to thank Joe and really want to thank Max for having me on the show. This has been a blast. Thank you. So thank you very much. Thank you. And again, for uh, getting in contact with uh, myself or Joe, uh, in reference to book coaching, you want to call 844-417-4177. That's the Max Sports Show for this week. Thank you very much. Thanks, uh, guys. We've had a great time, and uh, we'll see you next week. Take care. Thank Take you. Care. Care.